Good morning. Will God settle accounts with Babylon? Our reading comes from Jeremiah chapter 51, verses 27 to 33. Set up a banner in the land, blow the trumpet among the nations, prepare the nations against her, call the kingdoms together against her. Ararat, Mene, and Ashkenaz appoint a general against her, cause the horses to come up like the bristling locusts. Prepare against her the nations, with the kings of the Medes, its governors, and all its rulers, all the land of his dominion, and the land will tremble and sorrow. For every purpose of the Lord shall be performed against Babylon to make the land of Babylon a desolation without inhabitant. The mighty men of Babylon have ceased fighting. They have remained in their strongholds. Their might has failed. They became like women. They have burned her dwelling places. The bars of her gate are broken. One runner will run to meet another, and one messenger to meet another, to show the king of Babylon that his city is taken on all sides. The passages are blocked. The reeds they have burned with fire, and the men of war are terrified. For thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, The daughter of Babylon is like a threshing floor when it is time to thresh her. Yet a little while, and the time of her harvest will come. Will God settle accounts with Babylon? Yes, he will. People are preparing themselves to act against her. Because verse 29 says, Every purpose of the Lord shall be performed against Babylon. God employed Babylon to chasten his people, but Babylon went beyond his plans for that. And now she will likewise be punished by an external force. Since Babylon so fittingly symbolizes self-service, self-glorying, and covetousness. God has made her a symbol of all that stands in opposition to him. It's all that versus selflessness. And there does come a time when God and all autonomous beings agree that selflessness and self-servingness simply cannot continue to exist in the same space. They are mutually incompatible. The self-serving group would, would inevitably force the destruction of the selfless if they could. So he's going to end Babylon completely. And verse 33 said it. The daughter of Babylon is like a threshing floor. When it is time to thresh her yet a little while, the time of her harvest will come. The time of her harvest will come. There comes a time when there's no reason to continue all along as we've been these last 6,000 or so years. It may as well be ended because nothing more is achieved by it. And then you would be uh, finding a place or a validity for, for the wickedness. And God is never going to find that place of validity for that. So he's going to put an end to it when it's very clear to the universe that this cannot coexist and that it's destructive. Once it's clear that this is a deadly disease that cannot be fixed, he's going to end it. And because he labors so long, it seems like he takes so long to, to get to that spot, he often reassures us, and there's many times here we've found in the book of Jeremiah, and there will be more, when God reassures his people in captivity, yes, I'm going to finish this. Yes, Babylon will be ended. Yes, I'm coming back for you. But he sort of has a, the people have a necessity that he would reassure them many times in many ways that he's, he's going to end this. So there's a little bit of repetition in here. But if you were under captivity, you wouldn't feel it was too much. You would be glad for every drop of insight and every drop of hope that would come to you from the Lord God. So now all her theories, the theories of Babylonian thought and religion and Babylonian ways of doing things, all those are going to be countermanded. They'll be overruled, not by counter theories, but by love lived out. So we are going to live out the love of God in our lives. It's not going to be so much by arguing or having a big uh, intellectual showdown with Babylon that God wins. It's because God's people love in this world in spite of all the wickedness that's pointed their way. See, Jesus lived that love out, and you and I will live that love out too. So this world is a laboratory of hate, and it's a laboratory of love. See, we get to choose self-service or other service. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, use us, please, Lord, for your glory, not our glory. We've had our big days, our biggest and best days in our life, and we found out that that glory didn't amount to anything. It was, there was always something kind of fake about it. Help us, Lord, to be useful to you as agents for your kingdom, agents for the gospel. Lord, may we live it out in spite of ourselves. Lord, give us your grace, give us your strength, empower us, help us to be your servants in this hour. And we ask you for that, Lord, please. In Jesus' name, amen. So yes, God will settle accounts with Babylon finally and fully. And that's good news this morning. Have a wonderful day serving the Lord Jesus.